sisters bona fide. Sisters bona fide. Sisters bona fide. I got my sister and me. Hey, sister girls, how y'all doing? Hope you guys had a great weekend. This your girl Coco here. Happy Sunday, Sunday fun day. You already know that's how we start off all our conversations. Um, how you guys doing? I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, and for those of you who are celebrating Mother's Day, hope you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, I recognize that, you know, Mother's Day means different things to different people. But regardless, I hope that y'all, you know, found ways to practice self-care today um, and be kind to yourselves, you know. You already know how Sisters Bonafide gets down from our, you know, motherhood taboos video. We love and support all of our mothers. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys had a great day. Um, as for me, I just came back from Brooklyn um, celebrating Mother's Day with my mother and grandmother, two wonderful dope queens um, who I'm very blessed to have in my life as an adult still. Um, and to have the bond that I have with them is just remarkable to me. So, you know, thank I, I thank them for, um, you know, just being the people that they are, the women that they are, because they raised me to be who I am today, okay? Um, but so that's essentially why, because you guys know I usually come with my face mask on and whatever the case is, my hair in a bun. But um, that's essentially why I'm like bare face today. Well, somewhat bare face. I do have a little bit of makeup. I just wanted to look cute for you guys just a little bit. Can I do that? Just a little cute. <laughs> um, but so yeah, um, you know, I'm just coming from Brooklyn. So that's why I don't have a, a face mask. However, before I end my night, I did want to come to y'all and talk to you guys about my experience, right, with getting the vaccine. Now, I know I had mentioned little tidbits of this within um, two of my and Zaya's videos, um, you know, earlier last month, but I wanted to kind of come on here and give it to you guys in its entirety, my experience with getting the vaccine, okay? So I got the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine on April 4th, I wanna say. Yes, April 4th. Um, it was in the evening, I had a, an evening appointment and I got it in my left arm, which y'all, I have no idea why I got this shot in my left arm, because I'm a lefty. I do everything with my left hand. Why did I get it in my left arm? Even after I knew that it was going to be discomfort and pain and all this other junk. I don't never know. I don't know. But anyway, got it in my left arm. Um, and, you know, I came home after that. I did start to feel a little tired immediately after I got home, quite honestly. Um, so, you know, I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the evening. I got settled in, lay down, went to sleep, right? And I didn't really feel much of anything throughout the middle of the night, except, you know, I was just tired. So I just, you know, rested for the rest of the night. That next day, whew, <laughs> boy, was I tired. I felt every bit of exhaustion the next day. It was to the point where I could not get out of bed I decided to sleep all day, which is really what I did. I practically slept all day. I did have something urgent or semi-urgent that I had to do for work. So I did do that, but I was not in front of my computer screen all day like I normally would be. Like I just couldn't do it. It wasn't gonna work for me. Um, so I was in bed the majority of the day. And aside from feeling exhaustion and the pain from the shot in my left arm, I felt really loopy, like in the brain. Like I just, it felt like I couldn't properly make decisions. Um, you know, I, I just wasn't thinking straight. The, whatever I was on the phone, it was like the words just <laughs> weren't coming out properly for me. And this is just my experience, okay? I'm not trying to inflict or kind of like, you know, put anything out there for any other person. This is just for me. This is Coco's experience. So let me just put that out there. Um, but yeah, I, I was just, I was loopy. I just could not like, I was like fuzzy brain. Like I couldn't really properly make decisions. Um, and so aside from that, I also felt like discomfort in my joints. So I had like pain in my, in my joints. Actually it was on this hand because it was, I had it on my left side. So in my left hand, I felt like pain in my joints and also in my kneecap, I felt pain. 
Um, and I know I remember seeing on the list of uh, side effects that joint pain was a side effect. So, you know, I wasn't, I just, I don't know why I didn't think that I was going to get that specific side effect. Like, you know, the swelling of the arm, the, the tiredness and everything like that. Like I, I could almost bet money that I was going to get that. That didn't, you know, mean anything to me. I knew that that was going to happen. But the joint pain kind of caught me by surprise. I can't lie. It, it caught me by surprise. So that's that's definitely something that I experienced. Um, and also I was just cold. Like I, I was cold all the time. Like I had my um, bathrobe near me, which was nice and fuzzy. So I kept that on most of the time. But then I would also get hot. So I had to take it off. But most of the time I, put, I keep it on because I was just cold, right? Um, and you know, aside from, from those symptoms, those side effects, it was, it was pretty straightforward. Like the next day I was back to normal, you know, I was, um, you know, able to make decisions again. <laughs> um, you know, I, I was, you know, I didn't have the, the joint pain anymore. Um, and you know, I just, I felt back to normal. I wasn't as tired and exhausted as I was the day prior. So I was able to go on with my day. Okay, so that was my experience. The first shot, was, which was Pfizer, that was my first experience with that. Now, you know, a month went by, so they say that you, that you have to wait at least three to four weeks for this, the next shot. So I couldn't get an appointment in three weeks, so I, I went for the, waited for the entire month, and I decided to get my second dose on May 4th, right, so this past week. <laughs> and that shot it took me out y'all okay again this is just my experience i'm not trying to inflict anything on anybody this is just coco's experience with the shot okay so my appointment was um that morning april i'm sorry may 4th um it was in the morning and i went into the city got my shot came home Actually, before I came home, I decided to go and pick up some Gatorade and Tylenol extra strength because I asked the practitioner, you know, what can I take for the symptoms? She said, the only thing you could take is Tylenol extra strength. So I said, okay, I'm not a Tylenol girl whatsoever. I don't do Tylenol. It does not work for me, but whatever, I had to take something. So I picked up those things before I went home and y'all, literally as soon as I came home it's like I got comfortable and my body shut down down to the ground <laughs> I was done you hear me I'm done I could not do anything I literally laid in this bed over here for the rest of the day um my eyes could not stay open no matter how much I tried it didn't matter. They just, they just closed. Like I, I just, it was utter exhaustion. Like what I felt, um, you know, so I, I just slept all day and I don't think I mentioned this, but this time I was smart enough. I got it. I got the shot in my right arm this time because the left arm, no way Jose wasn't going to do it. So, um, my arm got the shot and when I came home, I was exhausted. So I slept the, the majority of, if not the entire day, I don't think I, I, I don't think I ate too much. I think I was, you know, I just decided to make like a quick sandwich just to get something in my stomach. And before I laid down, I forgot to mention that I did take a couple of Tylenol extra strength just to try to get out in front of any upcoming side effects that would have come, you know, down the line throughout in, you know, in the midst of the day. So, you know, I think that somewhat helped because other than the exhaustion, I didn't feel anything um, outside of that at that point. So, you know, made my sandwich. I didn't really have a big appetite, so I didn't. I don't think I really ate much for dinner. Just probably snacked a little bit, um, and I went to bed. Now, <laughs> at two thirty the next day, when I tell y'all, I woke up with joint pain running all through my body, not just on the right side, okay, all through my body. So it was just like wow, like this is, this is kind of serious at this point. Like it wasn't debilitating, but I, it was just discomforting and I couldn't really get comfortable sleeping in my bed. 
Okay, so that was that was one of the main things that I felt. I also had a really killer headache. I just couldn't function. Um, I was trying to fall back to sleep, but the pain from my, my headache was just not, it was like, nah, sis, you're not going back to sleep right now. Not while I'm here. <laughs> like, it was just not letting me sleep. So I was like, okay, let me get up, drink some Gatorade. I took a couple Tylenol, extra strength. Then, you know, just laid back down. I like snuggled up under my comforter because I was cold. I was so cold. So like just chills, body aches, joint pain, and this headache, I could not shake. So naturally, I didn't work the next day. Literally slept the entire day, okay? Even throughout the day, I noticed that like my, where I got the second dose, my arm started to puff up. It was getting swollen. It was extremely painful, even more painful than when I got the first shot. And it was red. Okay, so those were just like three things I was, you know, I noticed about, you know, where I got the, the injection site um, on my arm. So, you know, I was, it was, it made it hard for me to lay down on my side. I'm a side sleeper. So it made it harder for me to lay down on my right side. So I had to like go on my left side, go on my stomach, sleep on my back. It was just a whole thing. All the while I had this headache all day, um, you know, again, body aches, joint pain, chills. Um, and then later that night I started to feel kind of weak and I wasn't sure, you know, I, I don't want to blame the vaccine on, on that solely because I didn't really eat that much, nor, um, and I was in bed all day. And you know that, you know, staying in bed all day takes your strength. Um, so I was like, you know, maybe that's, it, it's a combination of those things. I don't want to blame it solely on the vaccine, but I'm sure it has something to do with it. Right. <laughs> so, um, cause if I didn't, hadn't taken the vaccine, I wouldn't have to be in bed all day. So I'm blaming on the vaccine. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I stayed in bed the majority of the day and I, I said that, you know, that night I said I wasn't going to work the next day either. Cause I just, I just wasn't feeling well. I, you know couldn't function. I just couldn't. There was no way I was going to be able to sit in front of a computer screen and do anything and be functional and be on Zoom calls and talking and laugh. Uh, 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 no, ma'am. So I took another day off, felt the same way. There was really not much change the next day. Um, you know, my, my arm had gotten worse. It was really red and puffy, still with the headaches, still with the joint pain, still with the body aches, the chills and the weakness. Those were my symptoms, my side effects from the second dose. So by Friday, um, I started to feel more like myself. Like, I think I had slept pretty much <laughs> for the last, for like the two and a half days I was just in my bed. And I think that, you know, that kind of helped me to get back on track with how I felt, you know, how I should feel normally. Um, so that helped me a lot, but by, so by Friday, I was like, okay, this is, I'm starting to feel like Coco again. So, um, but the only thing is I still had like a lingering headache that just, it's like a stubborn headache that just wouldn't go away, um, throughout the day. Um, and then my, my boss, she's so sweet. She sent me, um, two, um, pints of, uh, strawberry cheesecake ice cream from Ben and Jerry's, which is my favorite ice cream my favorite and she knows that so um i was very happy that to, to receive that package <laughs> um so i definitely munched on that i had an appetite that day so i was able to snack on that a little bit and that helped like i i was feeling i was feeling pretty good after that and then you know later that evening i started like my headache went away i was drinking more water too um and you know i started i was feeling more and more like myself and then saturday morning I was back. I was completely back to normal. It was like from the day I got the vaccine, the second dose till Friday, it was just, I'm sorry, Saturday, actually, a whole 360 degree turn, like just totally back to normal from what I was. I felt like I was just going to turn into some type of zombie. Like I didn't know what the heck was going on, but now I'm back to normal. Thank the good Lord. Okay. But you know, that was my experience with taking the Pfizer vaccine. Um, now, I'm not here to sway you, anybody, any of, my, any of our sisters, either way. Like, if you take it, that's great. If you don't take it, that's okay, too. I'm not judging. That It's up to you. That is your opinion. 
that is your you know decision all i'm saying is know why you want to do make either decision and make it for you don't make it don't make the decision to take it or not take it because of what you hear from other people know your why know your reason for doing it or not doing it okay and stand by it don't let anyone you know try to dissuade you know dissuade you from you know doing anything that you don't really want to do or persuade you to to take something that you're not ready to take okay um i i know that you know for me i i had experienced a death um from this you know this uh virus and i i wanted to make sure that I'm safe for myself and others that are around me, as safe as I possibly can be. So that was my decision. That was my why for taking it. Um, but I had to come on here and tell y'all, like, this is my experience. I don't, you know, I don't want to beat around the bush or sugarcoat anything. This is just what I faced. Um, and everybody's different. You know what I mean? You may not get the same side effects that I get. So, um, you know, don't don't let me if you are leaning toward getting it, don't let me dissuade you from getting it, um, you know, because of my side effects. You may not get anything. You know what I mean? So it, it affects different people different ways. Um, but regardless, I have to come on here and give you all the real. I hope you guys appreciated it. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the in the comment section. Um, I'm happy to talk about it. Um, you know, and if you if you say Coco on a while you got that shot, like you crazy, that's all right too. Listen, what's done is done. I can't take it back now. Like I I stand by my decision to, to get it. Um, but let's just remain respectful. Everybody has their reasons for doing things, right? Okay. So thank you all for watching and listening. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing week. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the week with you know with some more content and all that good stuff <laughs> all right i need to go to sleep i think i'm still a little tired from the vaccine <laughs> i'm not making any sense um all right y'all but i love you guys have a great week and i will talk to you soon bye it's official don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell ding sisters bonafide